All right, this is called majority of anime fans hate this, but hear me out. I see Studio Gohan's new TV anime announced. The exiled heavy knight knows how to game the system. Oh, that sounds like a shitty isekai slash RPG gamey. I don't know, power fantasy shit that we could enjoy. Let's see what Chibi has to say. Majority of people hate this PV trailer that Why? Studio Gohan's released, and a lot of the criticism boils down to the use of CGI the angles, to the CGI, and the typical Gohan's wonkiness. But before it doesn't look bad. And hold up, what was the anime that did um a uh, girl that forgets her glasses anime? Was this the same studio? Studio. Licensed by... No, it has... I don't think so. I don't think so. Before I really dive headfirst into that, okay. hear me out for a second. I'm okay? hearing you out. I don't think that this P... No, I'm right! Look! Look! Go hands! I knew it immediately! I knew... Uh oh, you guys can't see. Studio Go Hands. And the reason I bring this up is because I remember watching this anime, and like... There were such crazy, like, POV angles, like, walking through the class and, like, going up the stairs. And it felt like some, like, Attack on Titan, like, OEDM gear, like, movement from fucking Levi, man. TV trailer that is currently being clowned on is as bad as everybody is making it out to be. Now, to be fair, yes, there is some genuine criticism that I can offer to this trailer. Like, the whole beginning sequence of this is what majority of people are complaining about. And looking at the frame rate of this sequence, it, it doesn't look fluid, right? It looks like it's fucking 30 FPS right now. Looking at the frame rate of this sequence, it does look pretty freaking bad. This is not now. If the frame rate was better, I think this could be really cool. I think they're onto something. I genuinely do believe that they're they're onto something. It's just the polish isn't there. Look pretty freaking bad. This is not me uploading it and the frame rate looks bad here. No, this is genuinely on the actual PV. The frame rate does not look good here. And it this doesn't. can be chalked up to probably Twitter compression, you know, releasing this trailer on Twitter and then throwing on top of YouTube compression on that with what you're seeing in this video that makes this trailer look a lot worse than it actually is. Now, is that really the case? Who knows? But if you're going to do a new fucking PV as an anime studio, you would think that you'd overcome those sort of technical limitations to make sure that your trailer looks good without pissing people off. Or unless the biggest conspiracy theory is they intentionally did this knowing the outrage from the community to get a higher visibility. But the point is, is that yes, there is clearly some jankiness with the frame right here, and I do think that the usage of the camera angles definitely can be a little bit disorientating. <laughs> I like this angle though. Great for fucking panty shots. We almost yeah, we got one right there. A little bit disorientating when you see a sequence like this briefly, but it is very unique, mm -hmm. and that is something I really want to highlight and talk. I want them to keep cooking. Just. Don't make it choppy. All you have to do is like, just keep the concept and make it more polished and fluid. That's it. Talk about today in good faith, because yes, I do think that there could be definitely some improvements to this PV trailer and also to this anime in general. And I hope that Studio Go Hands that works on this anime, the staff that works on this anime, looks at the overall criticism and does improve upon the product. But at the same time, I don't want them to stop trying to be unique. I don't want them to stop being different. And let's get headfirst into that. So we okay. need to go back a little bit to an anime that came out over a year ago. Glasses? The girl that lost her glasses? And that anime was the girl I like, you know. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the exact example that I remembered. When he showed me this, I'm like, whoa. This really reminds me of that one anime in the classroom scene where, the, the school scene, where this whole rotoscope, I don't even know what to call it. It's crazy POV. Got her glasses. Look at this shit. Look. This was a PV Whoa. trailer that made a lot of waves when it released, and I think you can kind of see why. The overall camera panning and just the angles here is very unique. You do not see something like this, this movement in a normal anime. Yep. There is definitely just some uniqueness here. And even if you hate the sequence, you love the sequence, you're not going to tell me this isn't something that does catch your eye. Like, when you're... I love it right over here. Chibi's own video one year ago. This anime trailer is very ugly. 
in a beautiful way watching this little brief opening sequence to this pv trailer it's like what in the world it just it looks so different yeah and so this is a very signature type of uniqueness that studio go hands does for their shows and i think they should keep at it i don't think they should listen to the criticism of don't ever do this shit again no 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 i think they're onto something i it, it is really um jarring sometimes right it kind of throws you off but i feel like they're cooking i do appreciate them going out of the way to create this unique perspective through the camera work and if they can just find a way to hone in and polish it after more trials i think they're gonna just like maybe they could create their own fucking meta man and so you fast forward to this trailer that came out late last night, you can see that the very same camera angles and stuff they've used for previous works, they're using it once again for- We should check out the trailer reaction for this too. This upcoming show that is going to be released, the show- They've been doing this for like 10 years already? <laughs> Listen, the 11th year, they will break through, okay? It's a decade in the making, they're almost there. Something will change drastically within the next year, Cope. It was called The Exiled Heavy Knight Knows How to Game the System. I'll get more of that in a second, but the point is, is that you can see the DNA of Studio Go Hands and their, just their style of art and animation. And I think that to be able to recognize something like that, to recognize a studio's genuine uniqueness, is an impressive feat. And I want to mention something that many people at this current time might have forgotten about. Now, it might... <laughs> be a little bit more remembered in this day and age right now because there is an ongoing monogatari series but basically for a long while yeah head studio tilts. shaft that worked on a bunch of different shows not just monogatari they constantly had head tilts head yeah. tilts was a staple a part of anything that shaft really worked on it's like their distinct thing you know it's like the shaft head tilt creates a meta and a lot of other people they, they'd see this shit they kind of use it too because it's cool any show they worked on really had to have a head tilt it became quite a meme in the anime community but it was a very long time ago and the thing is is that i feel like a lot of people that probably are very newcomers to anime probably are unaware of this this yeah they probably see a head tilt in a new anime and they're like well that's kind of cool but i have no idea that like yeah this is a meta created by shaft a long time ago this trend that studio shaft did for a while and so i do think that you know seeing something like the head tilts definitely showed you this must be a shaft anime this has to be something made by the same staff that works at studio nah, shaft it's the meta. because of just the way the head tilts were done so you fast forward to the day's age and you see people mentioning studio gohans maybe not in a positive light but they are mentioning them because of their unique design and yeah they have their own signature and again like if they can just make it po more polished and not make it so distorting and jarring i think that like they could create their own meta that other studios wants to copy i think that is something i really want to embrace for a second and talk about so Let's be honest, a lot of anime and manga that comes out in this day and age, or just anime, I'm talking strictly anime, yeah. a lot of the stuff, especially when it has to do with fantasy, or isekai, they're garbage, shitty, min-maxed, Kadokawa just always fucking producing like what, like 30 new isekais per fucking season, all these studios got no budget, it's just riddled with CGI and shitty animation, lack of inspiring anything, right? is usually copy and paste. Now, this is a good and a bad thing, it really just depends, but most of the time when it comes to uh, fantasy, a Sekai reincarnated series, whatever, getting turned into an anime, it looks extremely copy and paste to all other shows of its likeness. It looks very similar. There Let Tower of God be a lesson to everyone if the animation is bad, it doesn't matter if the story is well written. Nope, I counter that with Spider, Kumudeska. Kumudeska animation is fucking garbage, the story carried it. Tower of God Season 2 story I think is trash. Yep, you can hate me all you want, I don't care. I think that the arc that they're covering right now is fucking weak. No one cares about this new roster of characters that no one has any fucking emotional ties to. We're doing random fucking tests here and there. Everything is so jarring. What happened to the mysteries of the tower that we remember in season one? I do not think that it is because the story is fucking like what well, animation is bad. 100%. But the arc that they're covering right now, listen, maybe the webtoon source material is good, but right now, holy shit. No one gives a fuck about these new characters or any of these random bullshit tests that they're doing. 
It is not the Tower of God Season 1 that we all remember. And it's failing because of that. There might be some slight discrepancies, some things that are slightly different. But overall, it looks like, you know... The art and animation is pretty much identical, which is fine. It is, you know, when you are making, a, like, a, a medium of, like, you know, anime and stuff, like, there's going to be a lot of similarities, especially when it's that typical art style. Like, you go back about 15, 20 years ago, the art style of anime was very different from what it is today, but yeah. it was also any anime that came out around that time looked very similar, and so with times when they change and art changes and what's acceptable changes, Metas. you know, the overall direction of everything that the general population populace consumes in terms of anime or any form of art will change mm -hmm. and anime has obviously changed in the last 10 years or so but i do think that um there is a lot of shows that just look very similar especially fantasy shows and being able to have a show that really stands out in terms of the art i just realized okay i, I thought the main character's name was broccoli the author's pen name i think is broccoli i thought that like literally the main character of this show was broccoli direction i think is incredibly important especially ever since 2020 with the boom of anime and there is a lot more fans getting to anime things need to do anything they can to really stand out as a product because you gotta remember when these studios the staff is working on these shows yeah. they are making a product to sell they are making a of product course, to money. be able to give to the audience to be able to not just watch but purchase bd dvds merchandise figures the original source like light novel manga etc you get the point they are trying to sell a product and yeah. how do you sell a product if the product looks very same into all the other stuff that has come out for years at that exactly right when there is a saturated market simply going in there and doing nothing different is going to get you buried under the fucking water the established brands and the different titles that can stand while copy pasting is because they're the big dogs, right? But if you're new coming into this, just having a new fucking generic shit that just copies the previous metas, not gonna stand out. In order to penetrate a saturated market, you need to come in at a different angle. You need to understand the existing pain points of the clients. And the clients in this example are anime watchers. They're watching too many fucking mid isekais from Karokawa. They're all just copy pasted bullshit. How do you stand out? This. Gohans has fucking crazy camera movements that, you know, it, it definitely does stand out. Now, the standing out means that you're gonna succeed? No. Sometimes you're gonna get fucking shit on because you try to stand out and it just got received bad. But regardless, you gotta try something new, man. Or else you're just gonna get buried underneath the. Tidal waves, insane volume of content that already exists the way that your product looks like. That point. So Studio Gohan's releasing something that genuinely looks very different, even if it is not for the best. I for respect instance, it. Once again, a lot of criticism can be made from this trailer with just the jankiness of it. Yes, I again, I think the thing that it's probably the choppiness, right? And again, first impressions is everything. Like the the first ten seconds of the trailer is jank. People already have a bias they've made in their heads. They're gonna shit on this show. Doesn't matter what they see afterward. They're like, oh my god, what is this garbage fucking animation? It is something that is getting a lot of people to talk about it. You're not. I think I think this scene's really cool though. This scene is really cool when they enter the door. Tell me if you actively discuss anime and you watch anime seasonally, you yep. don't recognize this style by Go Hands to some. Like I immediately recognize that shit, right? Like I don't. <sighs> no, I, I I definitely am not the regular anime watcher due to the nature of anime reactions and covering literally every fucking seasonal anime like i'm exposed to a lot but like immediately when i saw this i was like oh wait girl glasses anime degree or even if you don't recognize the studio or the staff you're not going to tell me this sequence of art and animation is it something that is going to catch your eye for good or bad and get you to you know talk about it a lot either on forums on youtube on twitter you get the point. And I think that is what makes Gohans so unique. And why I think that people quick to dismiss or even crap on this cook. TV trailer are not understanding that I want more stuff like this. I want to see studios being unique. I want to see them being different from all the other copy and paste shows we get. He's right. And even if Gohans cannot deliver something good by being unique, other studios can take examples of it and perhaps even make it better. Just because someone tries something new and failed and it's quote-unquote an embarrassment, no, it's more data points. Other competitors are carefully observing 
how the audience is re uh, responding to this new type of shit. And maybe they could copy paste from the new uniqueness and customize it and make it even better. If there is no innovation, you're just going to get the same shit over and over again. And it's going to be boring, man. Now, once again, you can be unique and actually be good or be bad. Okay, you can be unique and it's still absolutely mm -hmm. dog crap. Yes, yep. I, I understand that criticism because people were even telling me that like... But someone needs to be a pioneer. Someone needs to just like lead this movement of trying new shit. Even if they fail, at least we have more data points, right? Then we can learn from the failures and build off of that. Just because I like this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good thing. I understand that. There is definitely a good way to do uniqueness. But I do think that completely chastising it and basically saying they should not even do this and they should go back to traditional stuff... I don't think is necessarily a good thing. I want to see them not give up on this, but yep. improve upon the style and just take feedback. And so I do hope that, uh, I know they probably won't watch my video, but I hope any staff members that work on this show and the people, the head honchos that work at that studio, they take criticism from probably from the Japanese audience and they probably improve upon it. I would love to see- I mean, apparently they've been doing this show for like 10 years though. I don't know exactly- when this studio started doing this specific work, probably not 10 years ago, right? The studio probably hasn't existed for 10 years. And I don't know when this new camera work was introduced, but like, let them cook. See that because you do a little bit more, you know, improvements to this. This could be a really banger yes, like type of art could. animation style. I love the I concept. Love the camera pans. I really like this. This looks really good yes. if it was just touched up just a little bit. But what do you think? Do you think that people are being a little bit too harsh to, you know, Studio Go Hands and this- Oh, absolutely. You never listen to fucking monkeys on Twitter trying to fucking rage bait for internet points. Of course they're gonna shit on them in order to appease their fucking dopamine hit of the day and get a bunch of other people liking it, right? They're not actually here for a genuine conversation or to improve the standards of the anime industry. They're just fucking screeching like monkeys and throwing shit at stuff. Because that's what gets their brain going. I think that this trailer looks good. I want to check it out right after this video too. And again, like if there is no innovation, if there is no one pioneering, trailblazing, then what's going to change? Nothing's going to change, man. And even if they trailblaze and pioneer and fuck up, all your studios can learn from the mistakes, make it even better, and anime as a whole will get better. And that's a dub for consumers. Hey, there's a chibi video though. Please go give it a like. Check out his channel, sub to his channel if you haven't. And I'll see you next time.